you cannot make this stuff up. And I tell you all of it, I could literally keep you here all night because the stories are just so unbelievable. This is coming to a theater near you. Alex Jones promotes conspiracy theories and foments hatred of media. He's been called a freak show and downright dangerous. But there's a lot of controversy around this network about Alex Jones, for example. Alex Jones. Infoworth.com. I'm here to warn people. You keep telling me to shut up. This isn't a game. But the fact is that he is an unalloyed racist, a man who's out there pulling the pin on the grenade every day, and he has six million viewers. He is somebody who President Trump called after the election to thank him. Uh, for his role, Trump had gone on his radio show during the campaign. The epidemic of malicious fake news and false propaganda that flooded social media over the past year, it's now clear that so-called fake news can have real-world consequences. People have free speech in this country, mm -hmm. but no matter how hateful, no matter how stupid, no matter how we mean, give them their time, give them Thorazine also. I don't like giving people like Alex Jones a platform. If something popped up in a Facebook feed and looked like a news report, people were inclined to believe it. And if they were already targeted psychologically to be receptive to the information provided, uh, they were influenceable. Where are you getting this information? From a very reputable source. What, the FBI, the CIA? Infowars, it's a radio show hosted by Alex Jones. <laughs> you know he's legit. We confirm suspicions at Veritas. It's not a shock to you, but to get the employee at YouTube on tape admitting that they do it? I mean, you must be a threat if they call you out by name. It's also what happens when you listen to the radio host, Alex Jones. As of just a short time ago, and I'm talking about when this meeting started, on Twitter, if you clicked on the hashtag NYC terrorist attack, which is, quote, trending, marked with a red button saying, quote, live, the top tweet links to an InfoWars story with the headline, Imam, I warned de Blasio about New York City of terror. He was too busy bashing Trump. I don't know what happens in somebody's mind or how dark their heart must be to say things like that. This is a real-time example of when we talk about this information being weaponized. But Trump doesn't challenge these lies. He actually went on Jones's show and said, Your reputation's amazing. I will not let you down. You will be very, very uh, impressed, I hope. He still uh, calls Alex Jones and talks to him and, you know, the uh, Infowars. Infowars. Conspiracy uh, theories. Conspiracy theories. How quickly can you act and what's your responsibility to set the record straight so that the people who saw this know that it's fake news and at least at some point in time it can't keep spreading like some sort of virus through the legitimate world. That, that's something we're thinking about all the time because it's, it's a bad user experience and we, we don't want to be known as a platform for that. The Russians ran an extensive information war campaign against my campaign to influence voters in the election. They did it through uh, false news sites, they did it through these thousand agents, they did it through machine learning, which you know kept spewing out this stuff over and over again. And they began to have some of their allies within the uh, internet world, like Infowars, take out pieces and began to say the most outrageous, outlandish, absurd lies you can imagine. <laughs> Google is being accused of hiding negative stories about Hillary and her campaign by changing its algorithm to marry stories like the Clinton body count story. That's according to website Infowars. You have RT, you have Sputnik, you have Rupley, um, and then I, I think you have them feeding uh, other entities. Uh, Infowars comes to mind where those are echo chambers. It's been widely reported that that company has been backed by the Kremlin and they gave you 75,000 shares that you had to disclose they didn't give when me you anything. went into the Obama administration. Maybe you're uh, looking at widely reported 
uh, information from InfoWars, no, I'm not. but it is not true. No, I'm not. True. This is Politico. This is the New York Times. This is the Wall Street Journal. No, it's That's not. If a Google user types in Clinton body, they get car repair shop results instead of a story that talks about a list of people tied to the Clintons who have died under mysterious circumstances over the last three decades. Now, the latest story was the death of DNC staffer Seth Rich, who was murdered last month in an apparent robbery. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange has hinted that Rich was his source, but has made no further comments about the case. That murder, we should say, remains unsolved. The Russians, in my opinion, and based on the intel and counterintel people I've talked to, could not have known how best to weaponize that information unless they had been guided. All that stuff exists. You don't see it, you don't feel it if you're largely living in reality and in a mainstream media world. Uh, but it's, it's, it's uh, undermining our democracy, and I think that the companies themselves, they've taken some steps. They have a lot of responsibility. Companies like Facebook. Are you companies like Facebook, Google, et cetera. Right. Uh, to do what they can uh, to uh, essentially not enhance this. How quickly can you act, and what's your responsibility to set the record straight? The system self-corrected. That's not. That shouldn't be the first tweet you see anymore. It should be a USA article. The last time I checked, um, but USA, you saw this. USA Today. At lunch, I did. Yeah, and this, and I also saw the system system correct it. That man's a threat to this country. They didn't call out Fox News by name. They didn't call out anyone else by name. They said. When it comes to Alex Jones, we need people to scroll and manually find him and manually have to find that video. We're not we're not going to allow that video if it gets 10 million views to be on the front of the so-called news carousel. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. It's Alex Jones.